This project is sponsored by PCBWay. PCBWay is one of the most experienced PCB manufacturing company in China in field of PCB prototype and fabrication. They provide completed PCB assembly service with worldwide free shipping and ISO 9001 quality control system. Also, on their site there is an online Gerber viewer where you can upload your Gerber and drill files to render your board. So, if you want to make a PCB for your electronic project, PCBWay is a great choice for you. Visit their website and www.pcbway.com for more services. Hello, this time I am going to show you how to make some practical devices with a cheap compact ZVS driver module sold on AliExpress for less than $5. The package contains an assembled soldered uh, mo solder module and a coil for making an induction heater. The, the module is solidly made and we will first test it as an induction heater which is what is the what is primary intended for. Uh, then we, then uh, we will see how we can use this compact module to make other devices. On the PCB there are two N-channel power MOSFETs of the H6LG type designed for low voltage high speed switching applications in power supplies intended for drain current up to 20 amperes. Uh, due to the low RDS resistance of only 39 milliohms, there is no need for massive aluminum head sinks and they are soldered directly uh, to the metal part of the PCB that serves as a head sinks. It also has a two quality uh, MKP capacitors, two large chokes and several small SMD components. The device uh, can be powered with voltage from 5 to 12 volts and current up to 10 amperes. First we will test an induction, induct, induction heater with a voltage of 5 volts. At idle the current is around, around 1 amper and when hitting a metal object it rises to about 2-3 two, three, two, two, three amperes. In our case, 2.1 Amper. After a certain time, the steel plate heats up, but it, but it does not bend strongly. Uh, the cooling plate remains totally cool. Uh, next at 10 volts. When hitting this small drill, uh, the current is about 3 amperes. Now we see that the metal is downing. For 12 volts I will use this bigger power supply because it can deliver a higher current.
Uh, the next device we can make with this module is a high voltage source for our high voltage experiments. For that uh, we need a trafo cascade from an old CRT monitor or TV. We need to wind 10 windings with insulated copper wire with a diameter of 1 to 1.5 mm on the core of the transformer and connect the uh, the ends to the output of the module. The spark is about two centimeters long. and the transistors are almost cool. And the last experiment is about wireless energy transfer, for which we need a copper of copper or aluminum wire with a diameter of 1.5 millimeters, uh, which we form two identical circles uh, with a diameter of about 10 centimeters. One circle is a transmitter and is connected to the ZVS driver directly. Uh, and the other is a receiver and a LED diode is connected uh, to its ends. I made, I made this experiment in a short time without any calculations and if you are interested in serious project like this, you can watch one of my previous video where a 10 watt LED is powered wirelessly at a distance of up to 90 centimeters. And finally a short conclusion. As I mentioned at the beginning, this module costs less than $5 with postage, so we shouldn't expect any spectacular futures. However, it, perfor it performs the function for which it is intended quite correctly and I think that its, its limit for reliable operation is about 5 ampere at 12 volts, which is half, what, half of that is declared by the seller. At higher currents the MOSFET heat up significantly and the burnout can happen very easily. But 60 watts are quite enough uh, and as seen in the experiments, the module can work continuously for a relatively long time without problems.